Extra. Welcome to Friday Sports Extra. Christmas vacation is officially here, but no break for high school basketball players. Tonight, some big matchups tipping off, and we start in the river to river. A Mississippi side showdown between Pinckneyville and Nashville. The battle on 127 featuring two teams that don't really like each other. This one, a low scoring game as the Panthers, Nathan Morden puts in two down low on the block. Then in transition, Shay Kellerman ahead to Morden, who put, gets just enough rim on it to put that one down. Nashville having trouble scoring and the Panthers would take advantage. Hornets do eventually get a field goal though. Here on the fast break, Greg Guest, a nice bounce pass to Brock Trees for the easy two. As the little Hornets, they like what they're seeing from their squad. However, Pinkneyville would prove to be just too much as Kyle Lamb hits the buzzer beater at the end of the quarter. Pinkneyville going to best Nashville tonight, 51 to 39. Elsewhere in the Mississippi, to coin a big winner over Chester, 73 to 35. And we have a score from AJ and Sparta. Sparta beating AJ tonight, 60 to 48. To the Ohio, undefeated Murfreesboro hosting Massac County. Surf and Santa passing out goodies to the fans tonight. Let's take it to the first quarter of play. The Patriots, James Lang knocking down the J. Massac up two. And then Gerard Gaston slips. From his back, he finds Pierre House. How about this for two? This one tied at nine after one quarter of play. Then to the second quarter, Drashawn Payne for the tray. Red Devils starting to pull away and Gaston to Dylan Craig later on. And he's going to get the foul on this one. Murphy led 22-15 at the break. Let's take you to second half action. Then third quarter, Payne whipping the pass underneath to House for two. Murphy's lead was up to 10. And that was Payne you just saw from the corner for three. He was fouled. The Red Devils led 40 to 18 after three. Murfreesboro still perfect. 50 to 33, a winner there. Also in the Ohio, West Frankfurt made the short trip north on Route 37 to take on Benton with time winding down in the first half. Kyle Weeks knocking down the three at the buzzer. It's knotted up at 22 at halftime. And in the third, the Redbirds going to jump out first as Kendrick Simulton cleans up his own miss. Redbirds up two, that's doing the dirty work inside, but Benin gonna answer. Caleb Suber comes up with a nifty tip in off the Trey Garrett miss, and we're all tied up again in this one. We continue to seesaw here as Nolan Jordan. The nice turnaround, Jay, to perfection for the Redbirds, but in the end, Benton will squeak this one out by four over West Frankfurt, 49 to 45. In the other Ohio game, Harrisburg, a three-point winner over Heron tonight, 61 to 58. And South 7 action, Mount Vernon paid a visit to rival Centralia tonight, starting with Centralia. Zach Jones misses the layup, but rebounds the ball, going to put it back. Then Mount Vernon's, Vernon's Kellen Edwards deep for two. And later in this game, Haram Muhammad for the hoop. At the end of the first quarter, Orphans up 10. The fans liking it. And Orphan Demarius Dabney with the steal and the pass to teammate Brandon Buchanan who's going to find it for the easy bucket inside. And next play, Orphans player Desmond Rush, the steal of his own in the layup. Centralia, a big winner over Mount Vernon tonight, 45-28. to In other South 7 games, Carbondale falls on the road to Cahokia, 57-36, to while Marion falls to Alltop tonight, 65-50. to the marquee matchup in the South the Egyptian had unbeaten Meridian visiting Goreville. Goreville's Caleb Kinder with the inside bucket pass to Martin Powell for the easy layup makes it 6-4. And then on the inbounds, Meridian's Gregory Nesby, the tip in there for the bucket, then leisurely turns around, playing some nice D, steals the ball, and how about this, soars in for the slam, giving Meridian the 10-8 lead. Meridian's Timmy Hackney then another steal, takes it all the way in for the layup, finish 16-14, and Lee Sopsack with the steal the other way, going to take it coast to coast to make it 23-22 Meridian after the bucket. And with two seconds on the clock, check out this. Gorbill inbounding the ball. Dylan Lyell at the buzzer. How about the half-court shot for the 34-30 lead at the half? Gorbill would hold on to upset Meridian tonight, 65-57. In other SEC games, Century a 74 to 70 winner over Egyptian, and Shawnee falling to Cobden tonight, 45 to 36. Joppa downs Dongola, 71 to 49. Now to the Black Diamond, Christopher welcomed unbeaten Cesar Valier. The Devils got hot early behind T.J. Eubanks, who had not one, not two, but three scores from downtown in a row. That's the way to get things started. Cesar's up nine early, then Justin Matey. 
gets involved with the easy bucket down low. Now it's a 13 point devil lead. Christopher did get a few buckets in this one. Here's a pretty up and under lay in for Steven Dial to cut the lead to 15. But in the end, Sesser was too much as Kendall Gibson coming up with the steal and gets it ahead to Miles Tinsley for the deuce as Sesser Valier stays perfect 63 to 42 over Christopher. In Carterville, the Lions took on Trico. Cheerleaders getting the crowd pumped before this game. Early first quarter action. Daniel Lingafelter taking it to the 10, makes it 4-0 Carterville. Trico down 13-8 after one. Jesse Smith going baseline style for the hoop and the foul. The free throw no good though, so it was 17-11 Carterville. Then after a nice cold shooting effort early, Pioneers heating up. Clint Young draining from downtown, going to cut it to three. And later in the second, Dylan Withop, another three ball for Trico's first lead of the game, 20 to 19. And later on the half, Lingafelter working the lane, not going to be denied, but Trico going to come back in the second half for the narrow 70 to 68 win. In Black Diamond East games, Carmi wins a close one with Hamco, 33 to 31. El Dorado, a 22 point winner over Johnston City, 64 42. Fairfield over Vienna, 52 to 46. In the greater Egyptian than tonight, Carrier Mills falling or actually beating Pope County 63 to 19. Meanwhile, NCOE, a two point winner over Hardin County in overtime. At the Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament, lots of scores for you. Grable going to fall to Thompsonville. 51 to 43. Patoka over Weber, 43-29. Crab Orchard, a 10-point winner, 71 to 61 over Sisney. And in the fourth, it's ZR leading Wayne City, 40 to 37 right now. Well, non-conference action, Waltonville, a winner over Mount Carmel on the road, 79 to 61. And let's take you then to some college hoops. The SIU basketball team left yesterday for the bright lights of Las Vegas. Two games in two days, the first of which tips off tomorrow against San Diego. The dogs are riding a two-game winning streak that's seen a shakeup to their starting lineup. And they'll meet a sizable Torero squad that has dealt with their own inconsistencies this season. For the Slukies, the first of two big road tests centers on focusing on themselves and not worrying about who they're playing. Coach Chris Lowry believes San Diego is much better, though, than their 5-6 and six record indicates. We expect San Diego to be good. They've played 11 games already. Um, their record is kind of conducive to how, how good of a team they have, considering they beat Houston, uh, Stanford, and Oklahoma second day. So we know that they're, they're a good team. They're capable of beating anybody they play. But with Montana and Villanova meeting in tonight's FCS championship game. Meanwhile, Saluki fans already said goodbye to one of the most successful senior groups in Saluki football history. And the dogs will now also see a minor shakeup in their coaching staff. Special teams and inside linebacker coach Tom Dosh was named head coach at Northern State University. Dosh has spent the past two seasons on the Saluki staff, tutoring players like two-time All-American linebacker Brandon Jordan. The former Dickinson State grad and player was a head coach at Jamiston College before coming to SIU. Dosh was one of four finalists for the position and begins his new duties effective immediately. Well, that's going to do it tonight for Sports Extra. I'll be back here tomorrow night at 5. Until then, have a great weekend. Nightline up next. Good night.